All right, we're back for another token. What? I I'm still joined today by my buddy Virus. Virus, how are you? Uh, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. A lot of stuff drained down from Dokkan out of nowhere. A lot of GT stuff, but and uh, I'd say it's pretty fun. And we've been trying to get this done, but we've had technical issues. I've We've both been working and just have not been able to get this done. Yeah, I know. There, there's more to life than Dokkan. And I hate that. <laughs> but uh, we got... I think I, uh, I think I counted eleven new th overall eleven new things. Some easy A's, some mm -hmm. new units, some awakenings. One of them I'm really disappointed in. But um, before we go into it, virus, what do you think of the the celebration that's going on? Um, it's it's going pretty well. I think the stone count of what people are getting to are really good. As in, like future easy A's we're gonna get. That's going to make good for stones. I find the missions, maybe they could give more stones. But overall, I think the content's pretty good. Especially since in the beginning, Global wasn't getting anything. But luckily, Bandai ended up seeing the the boycotting a bit and decided to just give Global the little bits from Japan. Because if you're going to make it a dual celebration, you might as well give it to both. I mean, and it's just, I think we for the, some of the EZAs, that's just on the JP side, right? Yes, but the main ones they were complaining about were, if we'll get to that soon, yeah. in a later episode maybe, because we don't have info yet, would be Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And that's another one thing, we were, I was hoping, mm, I, we weren't putting it off, but I was hoping that we'd be able to get it all done and have them in, but we do not have info on them yet, unfortunately, so, yeah. Yep. But I will start off with our brand new unit. The center stage unit, we have a brand new Super Saiyan Goku GT, which I am absolutely disappointed in him as a unit, like him as a character in this. Really? I've told you my thing. I wanted a transformation Goku from base to great ape to Super Saiyan 4. And this Everybody Go did. And this Goku could have been that from Super Saiyan to great ape to Super Saiyan 4, but no. He's just Super Saiyan. Which is... So that means you can't even grind his essay. <laughs> yeah, you actually can. From where? The f old Black Star Dragon Ball Saga uh, free-to-play event. You can ban a base form Goku and farm him to Super Saiyan and farm up a Super. Ew. And I was looking at it earlier... I remember running that Goku as lead because he gave 40% HP. Ah, those were the days. Those were the that days that I crazy. miss. But we got this, <laughs> this new Goku's come out with a brand new category of GT heroes. He's three key and 170% of stats and Goku ca family category ca three key and 150 to stats. That right there is a really... The GT Heroes, I've experimented with it, is a really powerful team. Like, if we look at the category really quick, we have stuff ranging from, you know, all these new units, the Vegetas, the Gokus. We have... We don't have, a, like, as many as I wanted, but we have the new subunits, the Super Saiyan 4, LRs, the GT Trio. Basically, all Super GT... Gogeta. Yeah, all the Super GT units in the game are in this category. So this is basically just Super GT category. Pretty much. And then you have the goddamn physical Hercule just sitting here in the base. Why the hell is he here? <laughs> I don't, I have no idea why he's there. For anybody that, that knows, please comment or just uh, join the Discord, tell us, because I don't even know why Hercule's in there. Consists of major protagonists from Dragon Ball GT. Hercule was in like four episodes. <laughs> in the beginning of the series. Like, he's goddamn useless. And his passive, I actually got curious and went to look at his passive. This is, we're going slightly off topic, but um, his passive, damage reduced by 30% upon successful guard. That's his passive. He's goddamn pathetic. Successful guard. But, uh, 
back to the Goku. He is super attack effect, he greatly raises attack for one turn, and raises defense one turn, causes immense damage to enemy, and greatly lowers defense. So, the greatly raising attack is amazing. I absolutely love, I've ran him, I've ran him a couple times already, I love this Goku's offensive capabilities. I saw a thing, one, uh, an Instagram guy I, I follow, uh, Dart Gogeta, had him with over a hundred million attack with this Goku. Hmm. And I'm assuming that was legitimately full orb with Deborah candies, dual uh, so physical leads, the, uh, the Vegetas, or the Trunkses, depending on... Basically, he nuked them out. Yes. Like, oh my hmm. god, that is... Nuts. I mean, it makes units. It makes the uh, what is it? The punching bag event possible. More possible now. Passive. And the event that everybody forgot about. Ah, I still, I'm, still, I still try it every single day. I have to get seventy-seven million on the original set. You haven't beat any of it. I have it done. No, I have the later ones beat. I have literally to get seventy-seven million on the original three, and that's the only missions I have left. Yeah, I did those. I don't have the units. My best unit is my tech super uh, tech uh, Goku freeze the LR, and they're only fifty five percent. Hey, I have intelligence Gohan Super Saiyan two, and he he's always been there for me. I I don't have a lot of or enough uh, intelligence orb changers to make a difference. Unfortunately, otherwise yeah. he, otherwise I could have by now because I think my Gohan has two dupes in him. But um. Goku here gets 180% attack and 120% defense. Phenomenal. The best part of him, even though I've griped about these kind of units in the past, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key. That right, that is powerful right there for any kind of unit because you have a Kamehameha team, one unit that immediately pops into mind is Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Goku and Vegeta. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Evolution. Mm -hmm. Because Kamehameha, they get more basically more attacks for rainbow orbs for those who don't know out there every rainbow orb they get up to three they get an additional attack higher chance to proc their additional uh their um hidden potential too so they're just sitting there hitting harder and harder every single time they're good for that the one part that i was really weirded out at first and then now like he gets an additional 20 percent attack with uh when performing attack super attack per keys for obtained that is not the nuking like we're used to, like Tech Cell. He gets it on Orb. This one gets it after that. So basically, I, it multiplies really weird. And he hits like a goddamn truck. And then plus an additional defense was 50% per GT Heroes category ally. So we can get 220% defense based on a good, rot on a good rotation. I like this Goku, but his active skill condition is stupid. Can be activated after performing. Yeah. It can be activated after performing four or more super attacks in battle. That does not sound bad. However, a fifty-five percent Goku, you're never gonna see it, unless you get that five percent uh, additional super attack to kick in twice. But you're rarely gonna see it. Even for mine, I, I have a dupe in mine. And I haven't even been able to use the active skill yet. Because he hits just so hard. All the units on his team hit hard, so it's wasted. And it's a stupid active skill. It, it aggravates me. It irks me that he doesn't just transform. Yeah, they wanted to make an homage to that weird little intro. Ah, yep. I gotta listen to the active skill. Hey! 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 Ha! I do like the active skills. I do like the voice, though. But I don't. Hey, virus! I'm I thinking, really don't. I they, they should have. They should have made it a kid and then to adult. Yeah. Ka, may ha may. Wait, it's ka may. I can't do the lower. Oh one. gosh. Ka, it's just a raspy voice. Ka, ka may ha may. Ha, may <laughs> Okay, Virus, I didn't. I was gonna spring this on you to see your reaction. Whenever we do a new unit, let's rank them one out of ten, like one through ten. 
on their overall thing. What do you think? Six. Six? I was thinking seven ish for his yeah. offensive capabilities. The defense just ruins it. Oh, I Because yeah. even if you have him on his team, he can't take a hit. Yeah. And speaking, the only thing that's saving him is his offense. Yeah, because the like nine million attack, the fifteen million, the hundred million attack. His highest is ten million, like normal. Yeah, he hits like a goddamn truck. That is active. I found his active skill. What I've seen actually hits weaker than he hits, which is kind of weird. Hmm. But speaking of weird, let's hop over to the Vegeta, shall we? Yes, yes. So not only is there a Goku, there is a new GT Vegeta. Now, I'm pissed because I thought this was going to be a baby Vegeta. But instead, it's just Vegeta. Super Saiyan Vegeta. So, leader skill, pretty similar to Goku's. GT Heroes, key plus 3, 170 to all stats. And Vegeta's family, key plus 3, 150 to all stats. Which is a very good lead if, you know, you don't have, you know, the LR Super Saiyan 4s. That'll be your own little substitute right there. Greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense on super. Again, with the defense for one turn, but greatly raising attack. Mm -hmm. Attack plus 180% and defense plus 120% randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, plus an additional 10% when performing a super per key sphere obtained. Plus an additional 50% per GT hero category ally, self-excluded. Attacking in the same turn. I, as much as I hate to say it, Vegeta's better. Vegeta finally yeah. wins. Vegeta finally wins. <laughs> and then his active skills the exact same as the Goku. It's really stupid. And it's harder for this one. Because at 55%, this one will legitimately never see it. Because you have no chance of an additional unless you happen to have a uh, uh, skill orb into him. Yeah, because he's intelligence, which going into his active, massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy. And same thing as Goku can be activated after performing four or more super attacks. Now, people were complaining, and they were... <clears throat> they underestimate Int Broly because he has this, but they keep forgetting the fact that Int Broly has additionals built into him like crazy. Yeah. And even then, it's still hard. So you to can get that by turn two. You, you can. It is theoretically possible, but that is a very... You have to get super lucky to get it. If it's a hybrid or a pure, you're doing at least three supers. Well, yeah, if you're doing... And then... But, and still then, it'd be his third rotation out. If you could do three one turn, that'd be turn six. Yeah, but with this, if you don't have it, so that'd be like one super blank, two super blank, three super blank, four. So you, you won't be able to see it until like nine turns, basically. Yeah. At 55%, that's that's a stupid condition. Granted, I like his... um Fun fact, when I was looking through the thing, the English voice line is two seconds shorter than the Japanese voice line for the active skill. Yeah, because he speeds up a little bit. A lot of people are saying that the final flash is very reminiscent and might be pulled from uh, Budokai Tenkaichi. Mm. Take this, my new finishing move! <laughs> Hold on, I'm listening to the action. Final shine attack! Man, his voice actor, it sounds like he just gargles nails before he does does this. <laughs> you know if he can do that to Chris have it? <laughs> hey he's a good a voice actor but when it, but the Super Saiyan 4 you have to lower your voice so much like I remember uh, uh, Sean, well, Sean Schmel griped about it not griped but said he passed out in the voice the recording for Super Saiyan 4 because screaming at such a low voice legitimately made like he had to he passed out and that's that's what I mean. Yeah, fun fact for nobody that knows that, Chris Sabat and Sean Schemmel did admit the one thing they hate about their job is the screaming. <laughs> Man. 
I mean, a lot of Shonen have screaming, like Black Clover. Asta legitimately screams every time he's on scene. Ninety-eight <laughs> percent of the time he's on scene. The other two percent he's sleeping or eating. But truly, I like his Vegeta a lot more than I like the Goku. He's not going to hit anywhere near as hard, at least from what I've seen. But his defense. I still wish it was. I still wish they did a super versus extreme type again, like how Trunks and Zamasu, yeah. Goku Black, and Vegito Blue. Because this would have been a perfect opportunity for a Goku, and that would have been Goku. Because that Kamehameha, I believe, was the one from the Baby Saga intro. That so. Goku versus the Baby Vegeta, because Baby Vegeta would have been the 170 for GT bosses, when you think about it. Yeah, it was really weird for something we're going to talk about later on of how they released a unit with that uh, difference. But but defensively, this Vegeta, I actually saw his thing. This Vegeta can take double digits in the God event. That's really good. And there's like, I there's like three units in the game that can do that. One of them is well, him, the AGL Golden Frieza. And I think Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta can. Yep. I could I could be wrong on it. I could be missing one. Another one that popped my head is Intelligence Hercule, but I do not know if Intelligence Hercule can take double digits. I have him on Dokkan Awaken, so I, I, I wouldn't tell you. I mean, he's good. 50% dodge chance and up to 90% damage reduction? That's pretty good. But... If I had to, I'm going to put this Vegeta as a 9. 9 out of 10. Giving him an 8, because just with the usability still. Yeah. Oh, and that makes a lot of sense, if I'm being honest. But... Because the fact that he's intelligence, he won't be able to get the, you know... Yeah. He needs the dupe, basically. If he has dupes, I'll gladly give him a 9.5, a 10. Uh, that's what I'm up. That's, I'm also taking the aspect of the rainbow part of them, too. Rainbow is 9. If it was 55%... Rainbow, was... okay, if we're talking rainbow, because I like to speak from just the normal 55%, like normal base, because that's what the average player I am, but if we're going by rainbows, yeah, he'll, he'll be a 9, almost 10. Yeah, but, uh, that's just, let's just even out and say 8, because if not, if he was 55%, he's a 6. For me, anyway. 8.5. He's 8.5. Does that work for you? <laughs> yeah, that works for me. <laughs> there you go, Vegeta. You to get an 8.5. You're better than Goku. You finally beat him. The prince beat him. And then this next one, which was... I don't know how I feel. It is Gohan GT and Goten GT. Oh, back to the Vegeta. Fun fact. He is only our second Super Saiyan Vegeta, GT Vegeta in the game. Yeah, you're right. The other one's a world tournament unit that, like, nobody has unless you no. grind. Jeez. I think I had him, but I got rid of him because I didn't want him. But, uh, the leader skill for Gohan and Goten is GT Heroes Category 3 key, all stats was 120. They greatly raise attack and defense for one turn. It caused supreme damage to enemies. Sorry, I'm trying not to burp. I had a burrito about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> How unprofessional of you. My bad. I need food. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, attack and defense was 150 when performing a super attack. That's really good for something like Super Saiyan 4 Broly. It was a top like 10 hitting unit when he first came out because of the multiplier. These guys are going to benefit more from support than a different unit. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And GT Heroes Category 3 key in stats plus 40%. So, right out of the mm. gates, these guys are impressive. They're not a first slot unit, though. If you put them in slot 1, they are going to get decimated. Demolished. Yeah, was one of the D words. <laughs> yes. But, uh... But their support, the GT heroes, you were talking earlier, right before we started, about support for uh, Dragon Ball Seekers. You could have the GT trio on the GT heroes and have them linked up with these guys. Or at least have these guys mm -hmm. around. And that'll be doing them so much more than what 
one of our later units is going to be doing. Technically speaking. If you're, it's if, or if you're on the respective team, then the other one will be better. But I'd say this one probably could be better. My opinion. I do like this. I really like the fact that they're giving a little more love to the other characters that didn't really do much in GT. Because Big emphasis on didn't really do much. The only <laughs> fight that I can think of with these guys is um, Goten fights Baby. And then Gohan fights Baby Absorbed Goten. Those are the then only... they all got possessed. That is, yeah, those are the only two fights that I think these guys were actually in in uh, GT that I can think of. Unless I'm wrong. Super Seventeen. Did they fight Super Seventeen? Yeah, remember Goku wasn't in that. He was stuck in hell. That's why Frieza and Cell were fighting him. I did. It's been a way. I didn't remember them fighting. I thought they were fighting. I mean, of course they weren't winning. I mean, I mean the only way you remember how Super Seventeen got be in through a freak. He got a Demon King Piccolo pretty much. Yeah, after eight, after Android eighteen, after Krillin's death, but after eighteen, just basically blasted him to the point that he lowered his guard. Yeah, and the last thing, and the last thing he heard was, "This is for Krillin." Kamehameha. Ah, that was so. That's why I like GT more than Super. I was talking to Will about it. I prefer GT to Super. I prefer Super. I like the story. In my opinion, is better for GT. Yes, it, it's it's a lot more thought out than Dragon Ball Super was. Is was the su the manga is now doing catching up and is probably better than GT. But anime wise, GT is better. My opinion. Mm. Better characters, better world building, callbacks to the past, you know. But honestly, if I'm thinking of it, these guys, I do not see a lot of downfall to them aside for them needing to be a second slot attacker or third slot, but you're a support, so you wouldn't need to have them as, as first slot. No. So I'm thinking eight. Eight out of ten. Yeah, it's eight, 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 seven. And the greatly raising attack and defense for one turn. I wish they're like the next one we're about to talk about, where instead of for one turn, it was every turn. And speaking of the next one, virus. Another duo, O ten and Trunks GT. GT heroes category key plus three HP attack and defense one twenty. These guys are AGL by the way. Yep. Oh, they stack is. attack and defense by 30% and cause supreme damage to enemy. So, they can stack. That's really good. Oh, yeah. The supreme damage might be messing with the amount of damage they can do, but it's whatever. Key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional 40% when performing a super, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super. Use family category allies key plus 3, Attack and defense was 40%, and the same thing goes for Vegeta's family category allies. But the thing that's really odd, they are Goku family, they support Vegeta family, they are not on Goku or Vegeta family. Oh, I know. It's. I was thinking whenever I first looked at it, it was like, they need to be on both categories. But if they were on the. Nah, freaking Nikatsuki was just, no. It's like the, um,. Until the LR god Goku, who leads hybrid Saiyans, even though he's not on a hybrid Saiyan. Or he's not a hybrid Saiyan. It makes sense, but... Why? I really like these guys. If I'm being honest, I absolutely like these units. These two better than I like the Gohan and Goten. Really? I like the stacking. My big thing, I like defensive units. I like the ones that can hit hard too, but I like the defensive capabilities. These ones are going to be defending better than Gohan and Goten. Uh, offensively, they're going to be hitting harder than Gohan and Goten a little ways in. From turn one, I believe the Gohan and Goten actually do hit harder, I think. But say turn. By the way, can I question why this looks like Gohan and Videl's art? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Just... 
and tell me it's not. No, we don't question it. Holy cow, look at Trunks' calves. Those things look like thighs. <laughs> look at them. Those things are huge. But I really like these guys. Like but, father, like son, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, Trunks is actually tall. But um, I wish that they were on both categories. The only problem with that is they'd be giving themselves six key, and that's probably why they didn't do it. I wish they did it where they gave no key and just gave 80% attack and defense to themselves, and then 40 to Goku and Vegeta. Unfortunately, no. What do we have? This. I do prefer them to Gohan and Goten, though. I like my support units. So I give this one a 9. Could just be me, though. I think Virus had to, had to mute himself. But... Then we're going to hop over to our next one while Virus is taking care of his thing. Next one is a unit that was in, I think, the first one of the first three GT summonable units in the game. For those out there that do not know GT, there's a character named Rildo. Some people know GT, some people don't, and this guy is Meta Rildo. He is three key and 90% Meta Dildo. No. <laughs> don't disrespect my favorite GT villain. How is he your favorite? I like the idea of him. Like, he's just a robot that gradually gets better and stronger and can basically manipulate Heck, stuff around. If I'm going to be honest, even though I don't like GT, I've kind of Shadow Dragons to be better villains. Oh, I'm, I mean... Because it's basically the abusing of the wishes coming back to get them. Oh, yeah. I like the concept of the Shadow Dragons more. I like Rill, though, as a villain. Because, you know, he's just some... He's General Rildo. Then he goes to uh, Hyper Rildo. Then he goes to Meta Rildo. Because he absorbs... Into dead Rildo. Then he absorbs... Because he, he absorbs the Sigma Force. I want a transformation Rildo. I'm probably the only person we'll that wants it. will get it one it. day. I'm probably the only person that wants it. But I want a transformation Rildo from normal Rildo. I want a transforming Super 17. I want to see two 17s, Hellfighter and Trenchco. You are me, and I am you. We are but one and the same. And you just see Super 17. That'd be great. And have them the exact same link set as the AGL one. That way they'll be perfect link buddies. Well, they would have to. I'd see no reason why they change it. Unless it's an LR. gonna have a theory for you later but his base his uh, super attack effect he greatly raises defense for one turn and s raises attack causes supreme damage to enemy and lowers attack i am disappointed with that right there really rildo was one of the most defensive units in the game when he first came out he gave himself ten thousand defense and someone and people out there are like ten thousand defense is nothing before we had percentages, 10,000 was high. That's why LR Piccolo was considered the best defensive unit before percentages, because he gave himself, what, 20,000 defense? Am I right? I believe so. He gave himself a Can't say for sure. He gave himself a crap ton of defense. That's why uh, Mask Saiyan was such a good unit, because he gave himself 50,000 attack and 20,000 defense. He had so much to him that he could hit hard. That's why I like Mascayan. I wish this Rildo swapped his attack and defense. Greatly raised attack for one turn and raised defense. That is just me. Now it just sounds like the new units. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, close. He would greatly raise attack for one turn and then constantly stack defense. Because Rildo has always been a defensive unit. He gives himself 120% at defense start of turn. I'm fine with that. He gets 120% attack when performing a super attack. This is the part that's interesting when he first came out. GT bosses category allies key plus 2 and defense plus 40%. We had no GT bosses units leads in the game at this point. So he literally was the first of a brand new category. Had anything to do with the category. To support it. Yep. 
and plus an additional attack and defense of 60%. Attacks effective against all types. High chance of stunning the attacked enemy for two turns when there is a GT Heroes category enemy. And recovers 5% HP at the end of the turn in which attack was received. And holy cow, this guy needs to learn to condense. <laughs> but I'm honestly... I liked Rildo. I like Rildo as a character. I'm really disappointed in the unit. I, based on, because I, a lot of units now, they have to have the two, three million attack. I understand that. Rildo was never an offensive monster. His whole aspect was defense. So I'm upset that they gave him so much attack while shying away from the defense. His, he still gets more defense, but He's less defensive now as a unit than he used to be. If that makes sense. Yeah. No, oh, maybe it was for the best. I'm honestly thinking for part two. I was talking about the LR thing. I really want a Meta Rildo or a Cardinal Mochi Mochi LR in part two. Oh, what? You don't remember Cardinal Mochi Mochi, do you? He was the guy that... Cardinal Mochi Mochi? He was the one that was taken that was, during the Lude Saga. The one that had the whip arms. Looked like a weird variation of Frieza. I believe that's Mochi Mochi. Oh, him. Okay. I want to see him as a unit. I want one of him. I want him as our next LR. And have him be a GT... Really? A G yes. Because that fight was cool. He had a lot of neat tricks up to him. And he also was during the lewd thing. Have him do an exchange into Lord Lewd. Lord Lewd. Yep. L U U D Lewd. Oh, he's the big baby robot. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm pissing a lot of people off right now. I I I prefer GT. I know more about GT than I do suit. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually not even gonna finish that. But um, I want that or a tra or that Rildo card, a hyper meta Rildo unit in part two. Well, we fight we fight this Lord Lewd in Battle Road actually. Funny enough, and we also the Android Super Battle Road. And uh, yeah, we also had one of the events took on Cardinal Mochi Mochi. I don't remember what event it was, but we took him on. Oh um. Infinite Dragon Ball History, the brand new one. Really? Yeah, you take him on. Have you not taken on the Infinite Dragon Ball History? Or did you not even I pay haven't... attention? I probably didn't pay attention. I think I just killed him. Fair enough. I did one-shot the bull, bull par par. <laughs> Oh, I hear my roommate's air conditioner. That's I just heard a weird static, so I thought it was my end. But yeah, I want a new Rildo unit. I want a part two to be like AGL Hyper Meta Rildo for uh, this guy right here, Strength Rildo. Hmm. Could just be me, though. I like Rildo. Rildo is always neat. I like robots. I've always liked robots. So on to the next one. I give this guy a 7 out of 10 just because he lost his defensive... He, what's the thing? Uh, you be you strain so become the thing you fear you hated the most, and this guy <laughs> is all defense and he hated offense. Now he's all offense. So on to yeah, our, I'd give him a seven as well. On to our surprise new LR. I'm a big fan of this one. Oh, same. Destroyers what a joke born from the Dragon Balls. Shadow Dragon's army. Yep. All seven of the Shadow Dragons teamed up in this one card. Some people dislike it because they're like, it never happened. Just enjoy it. Well, we have GT Boss's category key plus three and 130 to HP attack and defense. There's our leader. Yep. Their super attack, 12 key, causes colossal damage to enemy and lowers attack and defense. And their ultra super causes mega colossal damage, lowers attack and defense with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Their passive, attack and defense plus 
plus an additional 70 when performing a super. Key plus 4 when the target enemy is in the attack down or defense down status. And GT boss is category allies key plus 3 and 30% to attack and defense. Fun fact. Our first, second episode, second ever episode of Doke and Wen had us units we want in the future. I think it was Dale actually talked about this unit. Really no. It was either Dale or Will. I cannot remember to who. If you've got, if you've heard our second one episode, uh, episode, our second Wen episode, we actually. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start calling them episodes or who episodes or hoop episodes. Hep- <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. But he actually talked. I think I'm pre- think it was Dale actually talked about the Shadow Dragons unit. It was either that or a Nova Ice team up. I cannot remember which. Mm. And I've got to go to let him know this because we're going to be recording our win in a few days. Um, our, our upcoming win is going to be our top most hated units. Virus, you better get better get your uh, popcorn ready as we all just trash on Doken for a few for about an hour. Mm. Ah, lovely. But he was he's gonna be excited for this, I guarantee it. And these guys have an active skill too. Did you read the active skill? Yes. This is the first battlefield unit to have an active skill of some sort. We had transforming. And um what else did we have? I think that's it. We just had transforming with Oob. Yep. So we- now we're finally going with a step up. Yep. It's key plus seven, and all enemies attack and defense minus 30% for one turn. And it can be activated starting from the seventh turn of the battle. That's a little long, but it's not that bad, because they're meant to be in a long fight. I think it's also trying to compensate for the fact that the GT bosses is a 130% as opposed to like a 150, so they know the event could take slightly longer. What's their category even look like? It's just the extreme version. Major antagonists. Let's see. We have them. Rildo, Shadow Dragons. Rildo, my hyper meta Rildo, Baby Vegeta, seventeen Baby Vegeta, Nova, Oceana, Cell. Oh, the GT Cell and Freezer in this category. That's gonna be fun. Oh, we have a strength hyper meta Rildo. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, he's free to play. He's not. He's not that good. There's a lot of these old and units I forget we had. Like uh, the rare Shadow Dragons, we have all four of them: Oceanus, Haze, Nature on, and Rage. The physical Super Seventeen. This is hot garbage. Honestly, this could be a fun category if I'm being honest. We just need a, a proper link. We just need more units. Yes. I don't know how much I like these guys, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Their active skill condition is terrible. That's my thing. We, we talked about turns, like turn six and stuff. So in a long fight, let's like, say Infinite Dragon Ball History, you can get this. Hopefully. Theoretically, but I, their active skill, I wish it did more than just give themselves seven key. I don't know how you feel about it, but I wish it did more than seven key, like 20% attack or something. I do wish that as well, but I don't know. Obviously, these guys are hitting hard. If you have people haven't seen it, six million already. So I'm impressed that a free to play can do that. Uh, uh, I think it's the uh, Deborah and uh, Bobbity can hit like close to six at rank link level ten. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to the active skill just because I've been doing this whole time. What a what a joke! Oh crap. He sounds so old. Could you want to make your Yeah, I feel like this is the old man that tells you don't enter the house or forever sp- or forever die. 
Don't enter that house, young man. The shadow dragons will get you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stupidity. Do you remember who the wall is? Huh? You remember who the wall was? You're cutting out every time you're saying that. Like the who the there was. Like Do you I'm... know who's the weakest of them all? Oh, of the Shadow Dragons? Haze? I'm pretty sure it's either Haze or Rage. Right? Yes, it's Haze. Okay. I thought so, because all Haze could do is just spit out noxi noxious gas. And uh, can... People were saying it's Naturon, but Naturon can absorb energy, so... And he can also affect the Earth. Haze literally just goes... Hurr! And I think yeah. He, I think he can take a blow or two. Two? But, uh... Eh. No, Rage is the one that can do that. That absorbs physical attacks in his giant form we need a we need we need a whole new versions of all these units like ssr like a whole just free-to-play team of all these units well we already have nova but he's a super type now yeah well i mean i'm just saying we need a whole team of them like a free-to-play led by an omega one two three four five hey, just have all the extremes get rid of nova get rid of nova just have all the extremes Shadow Dragons. Not even Shadow we Dragons. We technically do have an SSR Ice when you think about it. Yeah, the Int one. That came out back in the old days when Strength Omega was first introduced. <laughs> I give these guys a, set, a 6 out of 10, if I'm being honest. Their active skill is a really big letdown. Like, their whole a aspect of it. I'm not judging based on their active, because I really don't think they need it. I give these guys an 8. Well, that's fair. And also, they're attacking down and defense down, and later events, you aren't ever going to be able to use that, because the enemies can't be attack or defensive lowered. But if you're in battle road, that helps, and with the fact that if you have either physical omega or strength omega, that he automatically lowers attack and defense with his passive. That's going to help with their passive kicking off. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it makes sense. It does make... It all works out. It's just... It, it's very specific. In some situations, they're not going to be use, use, that useful. Well, that act, that part won't be useful. So, yeah, seven. I'll give them a seven. I'll be nice to them. Hey, what is next? Next is our first... Well, not first. Our net, what, third LR? Easy ALR? Fourth? Goku Black, Roshi, Goku Frieza. It's fifth. It's our fifth one. B Pan! Wow. Can you believe it? Five Easy ALRs in the past two years? Two of them being summonable. Yeah. And that Broly. Damn, that Broly's a monster. He helps in Battle Road. Yeah, he does. Then you have uh, LR Zamasu, which was eh. Roshi, top, uh, probably the hardest hitting free to play LR in the game. Probably the hardest hitting free to play in the game. That 628% attack buff is nothing to look down upon. Then Goku Frieza, which is what? No, you said um, Gogeta beats him, right? Yes. That is amazing to believe. That this unit has all that 77% and then Gogeta is doing more. Granted, I'm, I'm happy with it. But I'm getting off track. Pan here. She was, I think, one of the best free-to-play units in the game because she always would heal you on damage. She Your leader skill, you never use her as a leader skill. Never. Recovers 5,555% HP per or uh, key sphere of type characters obtained. So that means if an AGL unit picks up one AGL orb, they get five, 55, 55 HP back. Our super attack, a Maiden Burst Extreme, causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. That's fine. That's good. 
Ultra Super. It's easy to get her Ultra Super, and I'll explain why in a second. Greatly raises the attack for one turn and causes colossal damage with medium chance of stunning the enemy. Virus, you know why this unit's so good as a LR, right? Yes. With all that damage you're doing, and the, now, finally, your guard is pretty much guaranteed. That's, all that damage you're doing, you're just getting all that health back like you're sipping it through a straw. And for those out there, hey, if you are out there, we're going to pull a Dory of the Explorer. Can you tell me why Pan is such a good LR? That's right! She gets her key early! <laughs> you should insert the Dora clink, just doot doot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, don't tempt me. Last time you said we, uh, we, you and I did something like this and edited. I edited in the emergency thing for the emergency dog and what? Yeah. But Pan here, once you get her to SA ten, actually gets her key a super attack at nine key, meaning you can get her ultra super at like fifteen key. As opposed to 18 key. Making her the easiest LR to get her ultra super. So she can constantly do ultra supers and do a lot of damage. In, 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 high, in technicality hindsight. And paired with her passive. She has a high chance of 3 key. Plus an, plus an additional high chance of 3 key. So she got, so 2 50% chances for 6 key. That right there. If she's on a normal team. Let's say she doesn't get any key, she'll be at 12 key right there. She's already getting her, ult her normal super. You have to get her 5 orbs for an ultra super. She recovers 33% damage dealt as HP and reduces damage by 55%. Unconditionally. So that is what makes her great. Damage reduction. She heals. Her healing is good in Super Battle Road. And any event you could take her in, you take her in for the extra healing. Like. Uh, hybrid Saiyans. I took her into it. And she was a godsend. I'm kind of a. She's always been amazing. That's why I'm surprised she got a freaking easy A. Yeah, I know. Well, we were surprised that Goku and Frieza got an easy A too, so yeah. Uh, I'll give you that. <laughs> We're now here's what's gonna happen next. We're gonna we're gonna get an easy A for LR UI Goku, the STR one. Stop it. Akatsuki, I hope you can hear me. I know your plans. Nah, just tune out right now. Tune out. Uh, one thing I wish, her active skill, I wish she had 35% uh, for one turn instead of the 33. Leaving it at the 33. That's just me, though. Really? I would, I really... Yeah, I really wish it was, because, you know, you have the nuking leaders that have the 33% up to 35%. I wish it was the same aspect for her. She gives uh, all allies attack plus 35% for one turn. That 2% is not going to equate to much, but it is. And she can activate it from the third turn of the battle, starting from battle. So she's the easiest uh, active skill, second easiest active skill in the game. First being physical uh, transformation Frieza. Because you literally just hop in and you can activate it. Yeah. And it's not like it's bad to do that too. I mean, reckon you don't have as much defense, but still you got the power. Oh yeah. Whenever I took on the Resurrected Warrior Super Battle Road with him and reps of 7, I immediately transformed. I found him being imme transformed immediately did so much better than base form or final form. Yeah, no, that's a smarter idea too because he stuns. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to give Pan a 9 out of 10. Truly. I would give her a 9 out of 10 as well, yeah. The, the only thing, the only reason she's not going to, and we're going to, and this is not going to be like a, our S tier, if you heard our tier list, where we have like 15 S tier units. If they get a 10 out of 10, they have reason to get 10 out of 10. We're going to be very picky. When it comes down to our 10 out of 10. If she had 35% attack, she would have been a 10 out of 10 for me. But no. Mm. Kotsky, you messed up. You, me you made the Doken Waters angry. So, oh, man. Now, now we're speaking about this. 
Yeah, speaking of angry. I feel like we should roll into the next one. Speaking of angry. Do you want to move into the one that makes you angry or the one that's No, we're nice? going we're going to go in order. We're going in order. You got the next one. Alrighty. So this next one, I am surprised he got an easy A. But I'm proud. Little Great Saiyan of Mystery Trunks K to Great Saiyan. Yeah, that little Trunks wearing the Saiyan suit, he just got an easy A. The youth category key plus three, HP attack and defense 77%. That's a good free-to-play lead, you know, if you need to do events that require these units. AGL type key plus 3, 50% to all stats. He still stacks defense by 30% and causes supreme damage and lowers defense of the enemy. Attack and defense plus 90% plus an additional attack plus sin up to 77%. And chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% up to 49% with each attack performed. So after 11 attacks, that's incredible. Yep. Because after 11 attacks, you already have 167% attack with almost a 50% chance to crit. Yeah. After doing 11 attacks and after 7 attacks, you have a 50-50 chance to crit. Yep. You launch an additional attack with 3 or more key spheres obtained. You launch another additional attack with 5 or more key spheres obtained. And you perform a guaranteed crit with seven or more key spheres obtained. And of course, since it's a Halloween unit, recovers HP with candy. Yeah. It, I, I, back to what I was saying. I don't hate this unit. I hate how good he is for a free-to-play unit. Could you imagine this on a Dokenfest unit? Broken. Yeah. I like this Trunks. I'm uh, not going to lie. I like this. Oh, wait, it's, we don't know who it is. Oh, oh yeah, we do. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was... The, uh, it says his fucking name. <laughs> I thought it was just Sid. I thought it was Kid Great Saiyan. I thought it was doing the Mask Saiyan. Even thing. Baba knew. She was like, bitch. Like... I thought it was the Mask Saiyan uh, debacle. Because we don't know who the Mask Saiyan is. Because it's not Bardock. Nah, it's not that complicated. I... I wish they had done these at a different time. At least him. And our next one, too. But I really like this Trunks. His, he's offensively capable. That crit. Uh, one reason, like, the physical Goku, uh, Evolution, Kaioken, Goku, and Vegeta are such a good unit is um, they can give themselves, like, a 35% chance to crit if they get five rainbow orbs. And they get three guaranteed, they get four guaranteed attacks. They may not all be supers, yeah. but they're guaranteed attacks with a high chance to crit. This Trunks... Oh, have you ever gotten them all supers before? Yes. Well, I've gotten two oh, supers. Oh, it's so much dopamine. Two, two supers. They can only, they can legitimately I've only gotten get... I've four. For who? Goku and Vegeta. The Goku... I reckon it wasn't mine, it was a friend. I didn't, I didn't think they could. I thought the Goku and Vegeta could only get additional attacks. It doesn't say any chance. No, they can do it. I believe it has a chance. I believe it does. I either that or I just got lucky. It was three. So I mean, I mean, they can get the attacks. I do not. My mine are link level ten. I've used them a lot. I've never seen them get more than two supers. Hmm. I guess I just got lucky with one more. What is the game glitch? That I'm probably mistaken it. I mean, like, the game bugged out last night for me because I was uh, doing the fusion. No, it's like Super Class Extreme Super Battle Road. And um, Goku Black, and the final stage is Goku Black and Zamasu. They had all their attacks in the second slot. Like, legitimately, all the attacks. And I had physical Vegito Blue tanking the damage, which was amazing. But um, they had two additional attacks that were not on the screen. At least for me. Really? Yeah. There were 12 attacks. There were only 10 marks on the screen. That's odd. And maybe I just couldn't see the other two, but damn, there were so many attacks. And Vegito was just like, ha, crit, ha, crit, ha, crit. I wish I had dupes in that Vegito. Yeah, it's just a, it's a, it launches an additional attack for the uh, Goku Vegito. 
And I guess it's just that chance to for it to become a super well. Yeah, if you that's another good. But anyway, bad. We've, we've gone off topic. That's why this unit is good because if you can get that that guaranteed crit with seven orbs, he's going to be getting four attacks no matter what. And then you have another chance to proc his additional super attack, making him hit another crit. That right there, let's say if it's a hunt, that's a million damage each. You just did five million damage, right? One, two, four million damage. Yeah, four million damage. Yep. That's nuts for a free-to-play unit. Because free-to-play units are getting comparable to old EZA units, I would say. Yeah. Maybe not all of them, but like Super Saiyan 3, Goku, STR, Broly, yeah, hell, Gohan, they're getting comparable to them, and that is absolutely nuts. Can you imagine the day when the free-to-play units start to outdo like the next gen of EZAs, the 120s? That would be ridiculous. I know. I'm going to give this guy uh, an 8 out of 10. I wish he had a little more key. But that's just my own finicky. Natural key, not link kill. Well, the thing is Natural with key. that. Well, that's the thing, though. You have to go with the links. I'm actually going to give this guy a 10. Interesting. Money, money. I forgot oh, I forgot that he has this. That's Wow. Because he would do amazing on youth, on Vegeta's family, and hybrids, too. And he's a very good battle road unit. He's very. He has so much utility on him. It would be great. I, you know what? I could. I. You know. I'll. Under, I can understand it. I just wish naturally he had more key to him. That's just my only thing. Like one additional key. Just because there have been situations. And when you have the leader skills with three key, three key. Remember, he does a super with like six key already. I thought it was nine. Maybe it's nine. Do we even I have, believe it's nine then. Do we have a six key super attack? Could you imagine that? Like, like literally just start out? Like, Not six. Yeah, you're right. It's nine. It's nine. It's nine. It's nine. Can you imagine that though? Yeah, you get a six key super attack. It's anything higher than it's six. It's nine. I mean, you know what? Nah, I, nine key gets a super. Yeah, you know what? I'll say you. I personally just wish he was a little more to him. I would just want that one extra key. Just because there are situations where you can't get the super, and that one key would be helpful. That's just me, though. Yeah, I can agree with that. And, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. we had people griping about the uh, Shadow Dragons not being canon, not being something that's actually happened. So we're on to our so? next thing, thing that hasn't actually happened. Ah, uh, yes. Pan! And Grandpa Gohan. A surprise unit that I absolutely like. One of my favorite Man, They got an EZA so quick, though. Quicker than any freaking Halloween unit. Yeah. You're not wrong. I like it, though. They are a 77% three key Kamehameha category uh, lead. And three key and stats plus 50% for strength type. They raise attack and defense for one turn and cause supreme damage to enemy. They give themselves 100% attack when performing a super attack and a great chance of an additional 100% attack. So that right there is high. I've seen these guys get to like 3 million as a free to play EZA. Really? Yes. They defense plus fifty percent with each super attack performed up to hundred percent. They three key and plus an additional uh, plus an additional three key and attack and defense was fifty percent when there's another Goku's family category ally attacking in the same turn. So they give themselves uh, two hundred and fifty percent attack if all this is active. That's how they can hit so hard, and I love it. I love this. I love these kind of. This not gag, but what if units? Because it's and these guys would do really well too. Mm -hmm. oh, they they do amazingly. They're not something you want to take into Super Battle Road, but they'll do really well. I wish they had some. I this is gonna be another just nitpick. I wish, as opposed to giving themselves an additional fifty percent attack and defense, they were a support. 
for a Goku yeah. family. Three key forty percent attack and defense for Goku family support. Like that would be that would just be the because they're two Goku family. Uh, that or another Kamehameha support. Because do we even have? Let's see, what two Kamehameha support do we have? Just the Krillin? Is he there only like two support? Yeah, actually, wow. Yeah, that's why the Krillin was deemed so good because that's their first Kamehameha support. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I and I just realized I gotta upload the win today too. Will and I haven't recorded. Oh yes, I forgot to upload it yesterday. It's good. How dare you? My bad. I came home late from work and I was tired, so I quick went up to my room, ate some Cheetos mac and cheese, and went to bed. Cheetos mac and cheese, yo, that sounds like constipation in a can. Ha, jokes on you. You can never be constipated if you can never poop. <laughs> and then you're just gonna fucking die at that point. That's death. <laughs> no, no, you got. You're gonna... literally full of crap at that point. <laughs> <laughs> ha, jokes on you. I'm always full of crap. Ah, boy. <laughs> uh, it may have taken a minute, but my joke came through. I really like these guys. I'm I'm, I'm really and impressed. Speaking of full of crap, I think you know where I'm about to go with this. Maybe I'm about to sit here and eat my other burrito while you explain it. <laughs> so I don't know why, but this man here has a good hate for this unit. Not not as a unit. Oh. Just as the character himself. Oh, we're on the next one. Okay. What do you? I give them yes. a nine out of ten. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot you wanted to rate them. Uh I would give them a nine as well. Yeah. I actually have them rainbow too, so I'm ready for their EDA. Same. But the next one, Intelligence Giru. Mm -hmm. You know the Grand Tour champion. When Easy Gate, he's a Dragon Ball Seekers leader, key plus 3, HP attack and defense 77%, or intelligence type key plus 3, 50% to all stats. He raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to enemy and seals super attacks. His passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 70%, and high chance of evading enemy attacks, including supers. When there is a hybrid Saiyans category ally on the team. So if there's a hybrid there, just anywhere on the team, very high chance to evade, and you just get 140 attack and defense with two key. And he's a supporter, Dragon Ball Seekers category allies key plus three and 40% to attack and defense. Man, that's a good burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say about this? Oh, I told you as I hate Giru. I've never liked the aspect of Giru. Giru was just a forced comedic relief. <laughs> if, if for those out there who do not know what Giru did in the show, on the first planet Goku Pan and Trunks landed on, Giru ate the Dragon Ball radar, the Super Dragon Ball radar. And became the Dragon Ball Radar. So they had to bring him with him. The, okay, I didn't even know about that. What the heck? Yep. Giru was in the comedic relief, I would say. And he was a forced comedic relief. Not a, oh, you're funny, so come join us. Ah, oh, damn it. He ate our thing. Now he has to come join us. That's why I don't like Giru as a character. His unit is not bad. I like... There's half of him I don't like, and I was telling you beforehand. But, uh... In the very off chance, this is a very low percentage of players, and I mean very low. And I'm looking at Dale. Dale's the biggest example of this. Dale does not have any hybrid Saiyan ally units that could be on the uh, Dragon Ball Seekers team. Not a single one. He does not have the intelligence Goku Jr. He does not have B-Pan. He does not have... Oh, any... Don't say Goku Jr. Well, he's a Dragon Ball 
unit. That's why I'm saying they're all free to play. <sighs> He's such a disappointment of a unit. That's what he is. We need a new one. But um, that's one unit I hate. I have all my heart. Man, if only you could join us on this token win that's coming out next in the next two weeks. But, yeah, does somebody say Goku Jr. in there? Oh, I have no clue. I still need to make my list, and the three of my units people know. They should know three of my units. If they've paid attention to wins in the past, they know what my three of my units are. You know two of them. Do you know my third one? It's an easy A. Eh? No. Man, no. some fan of the podcast you are. <laughs> eh, I got I got things to do. What was it again? Oh, I'm not gonna ruin it. It's gonna it's my number one hated unit in the game. Like truly. Like I hate Tapion for specific reasons. And I was thinking about it, he's not my category leader. No, he's not your number one. He's my most Oh, okay, wait, I know who it is now. <laughs> Who do you think it is? My favorite. No, I don't know if you know who it is. Is he intelligence? No, he's physical. Okay. Physical? Yep. Hmm. Interesting. But anyway, I this Giru, and now back to what I was saying, if you do not have, Dale does not have any sort of pan Goku Jr., B Pan, Dragon Ball Seekers ha, Hybrid Saiyan unit. He does not have a single one that's actually usable. He has the SR ones, but he does not have any decent ones. So that right there. I just, I just hear like it's his fault. No, I'm not saying it's not, but just for the fact that it actually makes a Giru lesser for that. And then the off chance, and the very slim chance, let's say 3% of players that do not have those units. This Giru is going to perform less than he would for take you or, you or me. I do not like uh, units that take another category to make them stronger. No matter what the situation is. That's why I wish, that's why I wish the uh, Pan and Gohan was a support as opposed to what they are. I do not like units that take a specific unit or category to make them stronger. That's why part of me hates Tech LR Gohan because he takes a movie hero's Goku. Yes, it's easy to get that, but he still takes one to get his full potential. That's just me, though. I'm sure someone out there, someone else out there agrees, but to each their own. If not, everyone's allowed to have their own wrong opinion, and I have the right one here. <laughs> that was so it's such a toxic ending, you a-hole. <laughs> you thought I was going to say something like kind, like everybody's allowed to have their own wrong opinion, and I might be in the wrong. No. And if people still gripe Jeez. about it. It's like arguing with a freaking old Christian grandpa. Jesus fought the war against the penguins. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Fun fact, this is a random thing. I was re I'm starting to read through the Bible. This has absolutely nothing about it. People out there are not religious. This is just something I found <laughs> uh, out. Yes, welcome. And I think it's chapter 8 of Genesis. Noah releases a raven. We have no clue what happens whenever during the flood. We have no clue what happens to that raven. It's never stated what happens. That boy, that boy gone. It just says he released a raven and it flew back and forth. Then, no, then it doesn't say he died. It never said he landed. So it's Schrodinger's cat. We don't know if it died. We don't know if it lived. Then he just said, he, Noah released a dove. That raven's gone. It just blipped out of existence. <laughs> but truly, as you said, Dragon Ball Seekers is going to benefit well from this unit. 100%. Like, even the, just the free, free, the GT Trio, like, if I go look at them, let's say, let's go look at the category really quick. Let's see here. Support, we have Giru. Giru, Giru. Uh, technically, if we go, not number support, but we have the uh, Goku Youth and Arale, the rainbow orb changing. Oh, yeah, you're right. 
Um, let's see here. No. AGL Pan, but she's only for AGL units. Yeah. Int Gohan. Int Vegeta. Oh, Demon Goddess Toa. Oh, crap. The one I never awakened. Now you gotta wait a year. So I think there's maybe four. Yay. There's overall four of them that are unconditional supports on the team. Oh, Physical Pan isn't even on here. Oh, that's a shame. I did not know that. Yeah. That's why I said B Pan is really the only best option you got. She really is for that people have easy access to get. I'm out of the strength pan. Her strength pan is surprisingly good, and I hate how good she is. But um if I'm being honest, Giro as a whole thing, his ceiling is going to be great. And normal, let's take Super Battle Road, the ceiling will be fine. If you can manage to get him with a hybrid ally on the team, he's going to be do performing pretty well. The 50% dodge chance, he'll have decent defense and the support too. He's not a bad unit, I just do not like Giru. <laughs> if this was anybody else, I would be happy. But since it's Giru, I'm not happy. You know, just for you, like, if there's ever a day I can create a Dokkan unit, I'm going to create a Goku Black, Tapion slash Arutagarn, and Giru combo card. <laughs> no, don't you... Name the suit Hayden's Worst Nightmare. <laughs> Hayden's Worst Nightmare, Goku Black, and Giru, and Tapion slash Arutagarn. LR, summon rates is 0.0001%. Now make him a free-to-play unit. <laughs> it's a new battlefield unit. Oh God! I want... You know what? Screw it. It's just in your gift box. Have it. <laughs> this five. Oh, it's thousand day Goku. <laughs> three thousand day hate and nightmare. <laughs> the three three thousand day hate. But truly, if I if 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 it wasn't Giru, I would give this unit a nine, maybe an eight. I'd give him a, I'd give him an eight because it doesn't look like he's it doesn't look like he can really hold up on his own really because he needs that hybrid buff in order to be you know usable exactly but because he has a good support along with him and the fact that you can have B pan she's free to play he can be somewhat usable so I'll give him an eight yeah and he's only on the four categories Dragon Ball Seekers artificial life forms and I think artificial life forms is actually his best team like stat for link wise I think. I could be wrong, but I think it was that. And space, Maybe. I, I think I'm. That's what I'm thinking it was. But his, but for overall, Dragon Ball Seekers is going to be one of his better things. But he, just for his stat wise, because he's a support for it. Yeah. I wish he was. I wish it was anybody. I would have preferred. Hell, would I? Who have I? I would prefer the Para Para Brothers. Well, they're in the game technically now. We just, you know, can one shot them. Yep. And they seal super attacks, which is pretty fun. But, uh, yeah. Seven to the eight. Bar? Yeah. What does their super attack look like? I've never been supered by them. I haven't either. I don't, I've, oh. I always use my active skill on them and just decimate them for like four million damage. Same. I do that too, and I was like, can anybody get supered by them, though? But, back to really quick what I was talking about right at the beginning of this. We, I was telling you I had a theory of what's going to happen with uh, the EZAs of the Super Saiyan Force. A game theory. A Dokkan win theory. <laughs> I'm going to just hop, hop over to Goku, because the Trunks and the Trunks, the Goku and Vegeta are literally the same thing, except one gives more attack, one gives more defense. Truly, uh -huh. I'm thinking with these guys being the Rainbow Orb Changers, they're gonna make the Super Saiyan Fours reliant on Rainbow Orbs. Really? Because both of them are Rainbow Orb Changers. Not one of them, both of them. Meaning that you can run, you could run the Super Saiyan Fours on both of their teams, GT Heroes or Goku Family or whatever you want to run them on. Are they on grade eight power? There's not. They're not on grade eight power. 
They are on grade eight power. Yeah, they are, bro. There's also if you're a Super Saiyan four, you are a grade eight power unit. I didn't know if it counted because the active skill or not. But um, and you never know with categories in this game. But if I'm being honest, I guarantee you they're going to have some sort of reliability on a rainbow orb. Even if it's only one, like an additional 40% attack and defense, it's, they're going to make them reliant on rainbow orbs. Because there's no way they're going to release a unit, two units like this, that can randomly change rainbow orbs without a, a particular reason in mind. And the reason I made joke about was the physical Goku and Vegeta LR... That is not the reason they're going to make... They made these units. It's for something upcoming. Which is either going to be, in part two, uh, a super LR, unless it's an extreme LR, but I, I'm, I'm leading more towards possibly um, a transformation baby for the LR. That's honestly what I'm thinking we're going to get. A GT bosses. Or the Super Saiyan 4 Easy A is going to be so reliant on Rainbow Orbs. I don't want to mind any of those, actually. And we have someone in our Discord. If you want to go check out the Discord, come join our Discord. We, we, mind, we don't mind having new people on there. Just, you know, have good opinions. Don't be like Dale saying her is the good. best unit. <laughs> but I'll put, I may, if you want to ha check out the Discord, come over to our Instagram and find me. I'll, you know, Doken Win Podcast. Yeah. I will let you join in. Virus and I are probably will talk to you. We'll greet you. Virus will make fun of you because he's mean. No, I'm not. He's pretty mean. You're the one that just said everybody's opinion doesn't matter, but yours so no, suddenly. I said their opinion is wrong. <laughs> not their opinion doesn't matter. Everybody's allowed their own wrong opinion. This is something we had. I Except had yours is right. We had a teacher that actually said this. Everybody is allowed their own wrong opinion, and mine's the right one. We had a teacher say that. Will's mom actually That's said hilarious. that. Hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. If they're not reliant on rainbow orbs, I will actually be very disappointed in them. They need the intelligence Gogeta, like, upgrade. What do you think? I think that would make them really cool, and that would also be a cool little, like... Has there like a sub to the LRs too? How they pretty much get four key or I think three off a of rainbow orb? Yeah. I'd find that pretty impressive if they could do that. Or just make them rainbow nukers or just higher crit chance or something. Yeah. Or give them the exact same passive that the Goku and Vegeta have. Yep. You got anything else to add before we go and do our slight banter for the end this off? Um, uh, no, I think that's it. Everybody, spend all your stones. Year six is around the corner for global, but JP, spend your stones. Unless you want to save for the worldwide celebration in September, then. Global, spend your stones. <laughs> Don't spend your stones, stop it. <laughs> spend your stones. Year six isn't worth it. Oh, God. We have someone in our group Discord that said he didn't want the LR... I think you saw that. It was, didn't want the LR, UI, Goku, and the Evolution Blue Vegeta. Well, that's his loss. I know! He was like, what? And my immediate response, blasphemy! Because the Goku is legitimately the best unit in the game. Yes. I don't want the best unit. And we're not making... We're, I'm, okay, if I'm sounding rude when I'm making fun of him, and he, I think... <laughs> I'm not meaning it to be. It's just like, oh, I don't want gold because gold is is gold. It's too good. I want silver. <laughs> <laughs>